the future of the students are in the hands of the CPO, really. While they spend hours educating students to make something great of themselves, Wigat President Dr. Indira Rampasad says they're barely covering their own bills. You are sacrificing um, financially could have been doing other things to make a lot of money. We, we're amongst the highly, most highly qualified people <clears throat> in the country. 800 members of staff, both academic and non-academic, at the St. Augustine campus have been working on 2014 salaries. Dr. Rambasad says there have been several attempts to ignite the negotiation process, but a wage increase offer is yet to reach the table. The proposal was submitted in 2019, cognizant of the conditions of the times. She says what is interesting is the St. Augustine campus is the only one experiencing this problem. Both um, Jamaica and, and uh, Barbados, Cape Hill and Mona campuses, they actually enjoy higher salaries than St. Augustine and Jamaica has settled up to 2021. Following Wigat's protest two weeks ago, campus principal Professor Rosemary Bell Antwine informed the union that the CPU has assured the matter is being looked into. But Dr. Rambasad says nothing has changed. Armed with their placards on Thursday, staff protested. And this month, they're promising to do a lot more outside of the classroom. They would go and teach their classes, but that is it. They're not doing office hours, they're not meeting with students. And she says next month could see more pressure for students. Question papers have to be submitted in March for the April exams. The final exams are in April. Okay, from April to May, they run into April to May. Final marks are due on May 30 or usually. So if we don't hear anything in March, then we're not sure those exams are going to take place. In a statement, UE said campus management is awaiting word on the remits to enable the process to go forward, but assured that there have been ongoing discussions with the CPU. The UE said it understands the staff's anxiety and hopes the process will conclude soon. Pavita Gopal Chan, CNC3 News.